on them shoot. Oh, what a fucking goal. Jeez. Gibraltar Jeez. guys turned up. Gibraltar guys. the badge, you pussy. Yeah. Why is he calling him a pussy for? He just scored a goal. Yeah. Gibraltar guards turned up. Oh, my days. What a finish. What a goal. The top gooners are jubilant in the stadium. I'm confused. I'm con- I'm confused here, Lee. Are you happy or sad? Let's go. Look, let's go back to the beginning, right? Have Casemiro around him. Shoot! Oh, what a fucking goal! Happy. That that's a normal. Yes, what a goal! Jeez, jeez! I I, I love it. He talks like that. Gibraltar guards turned up. Then he attacks the player that just scored. Angry. Look at him holding the badge. You pussy. Attacking the player again who scored. Yeah, Gibraltar guards turned up. Oh my days! What a finish! And then he praises him again. Honestly, it, it might just be me. It might just be in my head. Lee, you're a mad one. You're an absolute mad How one. How did you come up with this? What the fuck? What the fuck? Goal. The top gooners are jubilant in the stadium. The We're in phase three. <laughs> phase three. Phase three. People. That's it. Come on. Yeah. But now he's, he's, he's gone from being happy to being annoyed. Why are you annoyed you're winning, Lee? Yes, get behind the lads. Signal flummed them forever. He hates it. Yeah, Airport Albert's saying, listen, are you checking out Gunner's Watch Along? Yeah, I, I listen, uh, look, listen, I, look, Lee likes to have fun. I, I am so confused by that clip. Are you angry? Are you sad? Are you annoyed? Are you happy? Because the mood was changing fast, bruv. It was like watching one flew over the cuckoo's nest. I didn't understand what was going on. It was a madness. It was an absolute madness, Lee. But surely you've got to be happy. Surely you can't be angry when your team scores a goal. How dare you? And the game is over. It's all gone quiet. Do you remember that Bjork song? song. Game over. (laughs) 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 It's like the exorcist. (laughs) 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 What's this? Buy Erdegaard. Buy Erdegaard. Buy Odegaard. Him. 500 million. 100 million. 10 billion. 42! Oh, oh, oh. He's gone. He, he's gone. He's gone. Look at him. He, why? I, I, is there still that anger from Chelsea fans? What were you expecting, bro? What were you expecting? Oh, my God. Oh. Ah. Ah. Why is he shouting? Why is he shouting like that? I can't hate. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's gonna be four, or five nil. Oh, it will three one. Ah, done. I can't. This team, you're all so. Uh, all of you, you're a bunch of donkeys out there. Donkeys, donkeys, morons. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Or is there still a glimmer? Yeah, look, it's definitely not all over. City have a chance, but at the moment we are top of the league. Damn! Got- We're top of the league. City have a chance. Listen, there's always a chance City collapse. There's always a chance there's football. But say City have got a chance, we're top. Wake up and smell the coffee, Julian. I love Julian, right? I actually love listening to his stuff. He's very positive. He's very optimistic. He's entertaining. But City have got a chance. City have got a chance. City fans right now, after hearing that, are sitting there and saying this. And, and win the games. And everyone's expecting, this is, what, this is what I don't get, is that this shift of enthusiasm from complete despondency over a few games. You know, a few a few games ago, we're all here and everyone's like, we're going to win the league, we're going to win the league. And then almost as quickly, it's like we've got no chance. Because you lost 
four, well, you didn't win on three, four games on the bounce. That's why, Jules. That's why, brother. I don't, listen, I, I forget rivals. Park rivals to the side for a moment. The reason Arsenal fans have stopped believing is because you threw away an eight-point lead to go second. City have two games in hand over you. And they don't really have any games that you look at and go, I can see that being difficult. So Arsenal fans have just become realistic. They've just become realistic that they're, they're probably not going to win the league from this point. Is, is what I think they're getting at, Julian. I, I know that, listen, there's a chance. There's always a chance. You know, remember that famous scene in Dumb and Dumber? Well, there's still a chance. That, that's what's going on here. By the way, I'm not calling you dumb. I'm just saying, to expect Arsenal fans to be bouncing after the Chelsea game, I think personally, you know, I think it's a bit of a madness. It were awful last night, Chelsea. They had seven shots on target. And you're talking like the, the, the you know, they played a world world class team and played great. Oh no, we're not. No, I think you're fine with say Chelsea were, were, were hopeless. They were murder, Mark. They were Chelsea were poor. But you got to give credit. You got to beat the opposition that's in front of you. And Arsenal did that. I, I thought Odegaard played really well. I thought Jesus played really well. But if you're comparing the Arsenal performance to to the performance they put in last week at City, where City were excellent. It was it was miles better. So we, we criticised Arsenal last week for a poor performance against City. You got to give them a bit of credit when they played well. And I I, I do take right. your point, and you're right to say it. Chelsea were really poor, but I thought Arsenal first half in particular were good. It's all about the opposition, though, isn't it, Ali? You know, City City from the first minute pushed Arsenal. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, in the game, and and that's what Arsenal did yesterday to Chelsea, and they allowed them. They, they didn't. They couldn't. They couldn't do anything about it. So yeah, I know what you said. You know, listen. They, I don't get this in football at the minute. When a team plays well, a team plays well. And we, we constantly do this as, as football fans in, in recent times. This sort of like the one of the one of the one of the deadest bits of banter around now is say Man United beat Brighton and then Arsenal draw with them. When people do the beating Brighton's not for everyone. It was funny in 2018. In 2023, it is dead. It is ex it's extinct. It's a fucking dinosaur, legit. It stinks. Fossil, fossil banter, beta banter, I like to call it. And this is becoming a bit like this isn't banter, but this is just like dead, boring analysis of why are you praising Arsenal for beating a team that are not very good? Because I know Chelsea are in bad form, but the Premier League is a history. You know, there are teams, there's skeletons littered everywhere in relation to shock results. There are teams that are, are littered everywhere where you think, ah, oh, this is an easy win, this is an easy game. And they lose. City should know that. They lost an FA Cup final to Wigan as an example to where a shock decision happens that nobody expects. I'm just a little bit bored of this kind of analysis now. As a City fan, you're phoning in to have a go at pundits for saying, well done, Arsenal, who just beat a team with ease. I, 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 I'm actually at a point. I'm actually at a point where I don't understand it anymore. Uh, and he's Arsenal, so... Arsenal's having seven years is already in, in in Champions League qualification. This is the perspective, no? To the Arsenal. Maybe the mood there now is a bit down. Mm -hmm. After seven years, they... What is he talking about after seven years here? I'm a bit confused. They won the most important title in the season mm -hmm. for the club. He's qualified for next season for the Champions League. How dare you! For the club. He's qualified for next season for the Champions League. Nah, he's trolling. 110% Pep here has got to be trolling. There is no way on God's green earth that he is sitting there and saying that qualifying for the Champions League for Arsenal is the, is the biggest trophy they've won in seven years. And it's the, sorry, the biggest trophy they could have won. It's not bigger than winning the Premier League. It's not bigger than winning the Champions League. It's not bigger than winning the FA Cup. Come on now, Pep. I know you're friends with... Come on, stop. There's no Guna. There is absolutely no Guna that believes this. Because financially, prestigious, new signs. Okay, financially, yes, but they're owned by a multi-billionaire who's worth 13, 14, 15 billion. They shouldn't be relying on Champions League money to be wealthy. He can inject money into the club the same as Sheikh Mansour does. But I get your point there. But the prestige part, 
There's no prestige in being in the Champions League if you're not going to be able to win it. And if Arsenal need to invest this summer, Arsenal need to get to a point where they can handle both competing in the Champions League and the Premier League at the same time. Otherwise, it's a nonsense being there. It's why, you know, it's taken many years that Spurs fans have realised being in the Champions League and not having the ability to win it is pointless. It's a lingerie shop with no windows. Absolutely pointless. And from my perspective, I look at this and think to myself, this guy's got to be trolling. He's got maybe 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 giving a one-up to his, to his friend, Mikel Arteta. Arsenal fans are happy to be in the Champions League next year, but don't blow smoke up their ass that they need this to be a prestigious club. They need this to sign top players and that they need this. this sorry, this should be looked at as as big as winning a major trophy because in my opinion, Pep, you're wrong, mate. You're absolutely wrong. Stop it. Get some help. Tonight, well done to Arsenal, but it was a stroll in the park. They didn't get out of second gear. And, you know, they've they've shown how far they've come, Arsenal, and they're keeping their season alive, hoping that Man City will slip up. Maybe they will slip up. Manchester City has still got some tough games. They've got semi-finals to come. So, Arsenal fans, do you still believe but Chelsea fans, come on. Enough's enough now. You spent £600 million and you're getting performances like that. You're going to spend your money. You're going to watch that absolute nonsense. Garbage from all over the park. You look like a championship team put together. And Frank Lampard's completely out of his depth. He is. But the reason I played that clip is this story that's come out today. Um, all the indications are that Frank Lampard will see out the season. Chelsea wants to show Lampard the respect that his legacy deserves. That is a terrible mindset to have when a man is taking you backwards. It's a disgraceful mindset to have. I'm, I'm not even joking you. It is absolutely horrendous. There are some um, at Stanford Bridge who believe uh, the team would benefit from Poch taking over before the season ends because it would give him a run, um, give him a running start to his first full season. And that element is true. The second part there is right. They should be 110%. 110%. Uh, he should be on his way in. He's 3-1. We were... I didn't mean to play that. He should be on his way. He should 110% be. Uh, Lampard should be on his way out and Pot should be on his way in. It is absolutely crazy, in my opinion, that they are thinking of keeping him for these last four games. They should have had Poch in or anybody in at the top level. Nangelsmann, Enrique, weeks ago. It's absolutely crazy. It's crazy that they didn't. It really, really isn't. Um, I don't know why this clip came up on my screen. I weren't meant to play it today. Um, it's a gal, though, so let's have a watch. Let's have a little watch. But Chelsea fans, what do you think on the, the Lampard stuff? Let me know. That was too easy, ladies and gentlemen. That was too easy. Arsenal beat Chelsea 3-1. We were 3-0 up. And Can you all see the smirk? I can. Halftime, ladies and gentlemen. Martin Odegaard with a brace and Gabriel Jesus also getting a goal. That means Arsenal this season have... Mine, that, that minds. Players that have more than 10 goals in the Premier League this season. What a, what a way to spread the goals around. But let's talk about this man right here, Granit Xhaka. I've got to stop him. I can't get to the end of this. Where was this energy on the match reaction last night, Igal? Why are you so different on Instagram and TikTok than you are on YouTube? Why the change in character? Uh-huh. I want to know. Viewers, do you think the same? Or am I I might be nitpicking here. But he came on last night. He didn't have... I like this energy. I, this is the Yagawa I love. But he came on last night. Man was at a funeral. Literally, I just thought he buried his cat. And now he's out here giving it Billy Big Balls. That's the Yagawa we want. Listen, people, hit the like and the share button. Subscribe to the Football Terrace. Remember, we're giving away, in our raffle, two tickets to the FA Cup final. Plus £250 spending money. Scan the QR code on the screen now to enter. Until next time, take care. Goodbye. God bless. And I'll see you all again soon.